It's time to put on our yellow hazmat suits and hop in our RVs for another thrilling story. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 things we want to see in the Breaking Bad movie. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're making a wish list of people, places, and things we want in the upcoming Breaking Bad film. If you haven't seen the show or the prequel Better Call Saul, <laughs> beware of spoilers knocking on your door. And you will atone! Number 10. Walt's Family Finding Happiness Walter White's family paid a heavy price for the rise and fall of his meth empire. His wife Skyler not only lost her husband, but faced legal troubles for helping him launder money. Walter Jr. watched his family fall apart, Holly never knew her father, and his sister-in-law lost her husband. After everything they endured, Walt leaves his son a secret trust fund and gives Skyler a way to get the law off her back. Although it's implied they'll be fine, it would be great to see that in the movie. A scene of the family having a peaceful breakfast would be fitting. Number 9. Brand New Characters Asking us to name our favorite character on the show is like choosing the best kind of pizza. It's almost impossible to pick a wrong answer. Unless you pick Todd. He's a monster. But everyone else, from the intense Walt to the resilient Jesse and the fierce Mike Ehrmantraut, all had distinct personalities that made them captivating to watch. You are a time bomb. Tick, tick, ticking. And I have no intention of being around for the boom. That's why the prospect of Gilligan crafting more characters for this world is so exciting. New faces are bound to bring fresh motivations and different story possibilities. Who knows, maybe our new favorite character will debut when the first trailer drops. Number 8. A 2019 Release It's been over five years since Breaking Bad's ending blew us away, but we might not have to wait too long for this new story to begin. According to reports, production is going to kick off in New Mexico by the end of 2018. If the filming process goes smoothly, the movie could be ready for release in the winter of 2019. We can picture it now. Snow is falling, peppermint lattes have returned to stores, and we're watching two people ready to shoot each other over a few pounds of blue sky. There's truly no better way to spend the holidays. Number 7. A Different Setting Breaking Bad wasn't always meant for New Mexico. But after producers suggested that filming there would be cheaper than setting the show in California, the script was changed. I mean, isn't that what this is all about? Uh, us meeting way the hell out of here? New Mexico provided an excellent backdrop to the show's most iconic scenes, while its geography played a crucial part in several episodes. Although the state has served the show well, the movie could step beyond its borders. The scenes with Walter in New Hampshire showed that the writing and characters are just as great outside of the Southwest. If you look around, it's kind of beautiful. A change in scenery could help the movie distinguish itself from its predecessors and give audiences a brand new experience. Number 6. A Fresh and Ambitious Story Although there are still questions about the movie, we have a solid idea of what it's about. Early reports say it will, quote, follow the escape of a kidnapped man with his quest for freedom. Breaking Bad showrunner Vince Gilligan has floored us with shocking twists and badass scenes. He also proved that he could bring a fresh perspective to the Breaking Bad universe with the successful Better Call Saul. Does, does a steaming pile of crap scream payday to you, huh? In his capable hands, we expect the story to be a unique roller coaster ride that soars above its straightforward premise. Number 5. More Saul Goodman if you were a criminal that needed legal help, you had to call Saul Goodman. You don't want a criminal lawyer, right? You want a criminal lawyer. After building up his crooked reputation, he worked with meth kingpin Walter White. But when the DEA came after White and his allies, Goodman assumed the name Gene Takovic and relocated. Better Call Saul's flash forwards revealed he's now working in an Omaha Cinnabon. While watching someone order from Gene would be fantastic, there's another option. Since Gilligan's series tend to jump around timelines, there could be a flashback to Saul in his prime. Whether he appears as Gene, Saul, or even Jimmy, we'd love for him to make a cameo. That's uh, a bit of a reach, don't you think, Dave? <laughs> Number 4. An R-Rated Theatrical Release 
There's more depth in one frame of Breaking Bad than most Hollywood blockbusters. So why shouldn't this new movie get the same treatment as a Transformers prequel? I chose a half measure when I should have gone all the way. Bringing the film to theaters for a full or limited release would finally give Gilligan's larger-than-life world a chance to shine on the big screen. Given the original's violence, language, and mature themes, the movie can't compromise with the PG-13 rating. Yo, Gatorade me, bitch. We'll need an R to capture any brutality, as well as Jesse's favorite word. As a bonus, a theatrical release lets those who don't pay for cable see the movie without joining another streaming service. Number 3. Another Fantastic Villain At one point, the erratic Tuco Salamanca seemed like the most terrifying villain of the series. Whoa! Damn, man! Look at that! Look! But as the seasons went on, big bads like Jack Welker and Gus Fring made Tuco seem like an altar boy in comparison. The villains on Breaking Bad have consistently been intelligent, sharply written, and intensely focused on what they want. They've also served as poignant reflections of what characters like Jesse and Walt could have become. And with each season, they became harder and harder to overcome. This has left us with high expectations for the next villain that joins the Breaking Bad universe. Number 2. Continuing Jesse Pinkman's Story The last time we saw Jesse, he'd just escaped from a meth lab owned by a white supremacist gang. <laughs> Fans were quick to point out that his final actions would fit the upcoming movie's plot about a kidnapped man finding freedom perfectly. This all but confirms that Jesse's story will continue where the series left off. Aaron Paul's performance as Jesse was mesmerizing, tragic, and constantly surprising. The idea of him returning to the role is ridiculously exciting. His journey to freedom is bound to be a gripping tale that could easily reach the heights of Breaking Bad's greatest episodes. Drop the sales pitch. I'll do it. Number 1. Walter White By the end of Breaking Bad, only a handful of characters were still alive. While seeing a few of them would be great, the person we want to see most is, of course, no longer with us. All the days became so Walter White's compelling transformation ended after he was fatally wounded in the finale. Although Brian Cranston confirmed that White perished, he could still make an appearance. A dream sequence, a flashback, or an old video recording are all ways he could appear in the narrative without coming back from the dead. Say my name. And if he can manage to drop another iconic line during his cameo, that would just be icing on the cake. We gotta clean this up. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.